All right, this is actually the point that I would hope you say, oh, this is too cool because I can finally understand a need in the real world for systems of equations. So what we want to find is a break-even point. A break-even point is where the money coming in equals the money going out. In either words, you're not losing money, which would be down here, and you're not making money, which is very, very important for businesses. So we're selling some canoes here. They have a fixed cost. So remember, fixed cost means you got to pay for that no matter how many canoes you sell of $24,000. And then it costs $20 to produce each canoe. So if we let our cost function, and we could call this Y, equals $24,000 plus 20 times however many canoes we make. And then it says the selling price, so that would be our revenue, would equal $80 per canoe. And what we want to do is find that break-even point. Now, you may have been working through all these examples of systems of equations and never even realized what you were finding. When you were finding the x, y, the ordered pair solution, you were finding where the two equations intersect. So how do you find that? Well, you simply set the two equations equal to each other because they're both y's. So, an, or you could just say you're plugging that in there. So you have 80x equals 24,000 plus 20x. And I could subtract 20x on both sides, so that cancels that out. I get 60x equals 24,000. Dividing both sides by 60, 60. I get x equals 400. So in other words, at 400 canoes, okay, if they make 400, manufacture 400 canoes, they're going to reach that break-even point. Well, we need to know the y value here. Well, it's easy. We just take, that's probably the easier equation, right? And where you see x, plug in 400, and you'll get 32,000. So 32,000 would be that value. But this is a great application of where you would see systems of equations being used, finding break-even points.